Hello my friends on YouTube. Today I actually had a particular subject that I wanted to speak about. However, I changed that because of some of the comments that came from last video. Uh, in the comparison between comparing Islam to the Mafia. I understand this will make many Muslims very upset and some very angry however that is not the issue you can be upset you can be angry but don't attack personal attack don't make it personal speak about the subject talk to me about the subject i get so many comments some people don't like the way i look some people they, they don't like the way i speak some people think my english is funny and so on and so forth. No, talk about the subject. What did I say wrong? This is the issue. If you divert the conversation because you don't like my face or how my face look or my English or what have you, uh, you have you don't have an issue to speak of. You are trying to use what Muhammad used in the beginning anyway to silence me you are not going to silence me and even because I know many people may crazy people may try to kill me even if you kill me there there will be other thousands of people on the internet and in many places that will speak you are confronted now Islam and Islamic ideology are in confrontation. Not, not actually, you are not. Islam is not in in confrontation with people or with any other religion. Islam is in confrontation with time. Islam is can, Islam is from the seventh century, and it did not evolve and because of that it is not in, 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 in clash with Christianity or Judaism or Buddhism or Hinduism or even atheism Islam is not for this time and age Islam is staying in the seventh century okay let's start Maybe I hope I can make the, the, the video I was planning to make next week, next Sunday. Okay, the title of my subject today, Why Did I Leave Islam, Muhammad and Quran? And I, I chose that because I want to respond to those people who make it personal and attack me personally. Uh, trying to silence me okay those who don't like my face this is my face and if you want to listen to me this is how I look get used to it okay if you don't like me if you don't like my English if you don't like me if you don't like uh, the subject I speak about if you think I'm ignorant fine okay turn that YouTube uh, turn that video off go to some other person and listen to okay I'm not forcing you to, to watch my video okay so let's be clear on that okay why did I leave Islam Muhammad Quran and his his hadith and his way of life first thing I left Islam because of Quran many Muslim unfortunately they don't read the Quran as a history book or rather they read the Quran before they read it they put a halo on the Quran itself on Muhammad on the life of Muhammad and on the disciples of Muhammad as if they are next to God if not God himself okay when you read something with that admiration to the person 
Many of the bad things will fly over your head without you noticing. So my suggestion to you, if you really want to learn, if you want to know, why did I leave Islam? If you read the Quran without putting this halo on the book or Muhammad or his followers, you will see everything clearly. Okay, so Muhammad, uh, he told men that they can hit their wives, hit their wives. This is barbarism. And even you have some uh, Muslim leaders now, they come up on YouTube and they say, this is a blessing for the wife to be beaten by her husband. And other people, they come, yes, he can beat her, but not on the face. And on the body, he shouldn't break bones. He should maybe punch her but not to the point that he breaks a bone. And everyone is trying to go around to make it sound like, yeah, it is good. No, it's not. It is not good to hit anybody. Hitting physical punishment is humiliation and it belongs to the 7th century and it was wrong then and it's still wrong now. Okay, it is very bad and very wrong. Now, that, that's one of the things that made me really leave Islam, hitting. And why, why Muhammad allow the husband to hit the wife? Because she is half person. She is deficient in her head and in her faith. So therefore, the man he is not deficient. I don't know if, if you go to any mental hospital, there are many men, many men who are crazy. Okay. Anyway, uh, but women are all deficient in their mind and heart and faith. Uh, that was Muhammad's look at the woman. And if my mother is deficient, how would she raise up a good family? The whole family. Women, women, actually, they are the ones who raise the family because the father is working. The mother is the person who takes care of the, the children, raise them up. And if she is deficient, her sons will also be deficient. How does that go over the heads of the Muslims? But you have to justify it. Put that halo and put Muhammad up and everything is fine. No, it is not. Okay? Uh, that's point number one. Number two, Quran. In the Quran, uh, you can whip people in public if they do something wrong. You don't advise them, you don't teach them, and even the children, you just start hitting. This is Quran in the 7th century. In the 20th, 21st century, we, humanity, when I say we, humanity is trying to get rid of physical punishment. Even they are trying to abolish capital punishment and if there is capital punishment they try to make it as humane as possible like the injection killing by injection the person is not suffering he, will, he or she will die in peace they try as much as possible to avoid suffering uh, and humiliation however here Muhammad is asking to make not asking commanding people to make those who go against his teaching or his will to suffer physically and suffer humiliation in public. Islam uh, command killing 
not just killing, but before killing, cutting limbs uh, like the hand and the foot before the killing, and the killing will talk about it, but cutting, uh, uh, cutting if we cut the left hand, then you, you cut the opposite of the leg. So you, if you cut the left hand, you cut the right foot first, and then crucify that person after you cut his limbs, crucify him or her in public, and then spear him. Terrible way to die. That is part of the religion. Imagine this in one of your public square. People have to watch. They are made to watch. You get a person who, let's say, whatever crime he, commi he or she committed, you chop his hand off, the foot of the opposite side, hang him on a cross and spear him. This barbarism does not belong to this age or even previous age. It's barbarism. Okay. Uh, Islam uh, or in the Quran, uh, it is the only book that commands people to have uh, women uh, as, as commodity, uh, what do you call that? Uh, slaves, slave women. Slave women, and you can do whatever you want with them. And you can have 10, 20, 50, 100,000, depends on your, uh, how wealthy you are, and you can do it. You can have sex with them, you can hang them upside down, do whatever you want. They're slaves, they have no rights, they're not human. Uh, the Quran is the only book, it's the only book that command the followers to fight all other religion until they either submit to Islam or made to submit or pay uh, heavy taxes, they call it jizya, tribute, or killed. Or be killed. These are the three options you have: either submit by force, by force to Islam, uh, pay jizya, or get killed. That's in Quran, and yet people read that and they don't see it. Uh, Quran, Muhammad in the Quran allowed rape of the captive women regardless even if he was really as many people think that this man was from God this is a red flag should come up and say it's impossible that a man of God will command his people to do this command such barbaric behavior to merely I know in in the past some countries and uh, some forces when they clash to humiliate the other side they would rape the woman but that is not of a religious teaching this is barbarism the only religion the only religion the only book that has that clearly re uh, recorded that the, when you have uh, uh, when you subjugate a, a, a town or a village you take the women and they are yours you can have sexual relationship with them <coughs> all that made me leave Islam Muhammad Muhammad and his lifestyle also made me leave Islam. Muhammad, he himself, he invaded, he conquered people, he took the women and 
he raped one of the women after he finished his war at the end of the day on his way home he raped one of the women he himself that cannot be a good example for me to follow that's why I left Islam he slaughtered he, he gave command to slaughter people he, assassin, he assassinated people he uh, uh, crucified people he, he did all kind of atrocity. So this man, I cannot take him as an example for me to follow. Okay, so the life of Muhammad is filled with so much atrocity that's enough to make a person with even half brain in his head to discover that this person was not a prophet. Thank you very much. And if you want to stay on the subject and speak about uh, any particular point for those who uh, attack, launch uh, personal attack? No. If you have something to speak about, I'm more than happy to uh, talk to you about it. We see you next week.